Hi, welcome to Avset Math. In this video, I'll show how to make a good scale drawing using just a grid ruler and safety compass. Current COVID rules don't allow graph paper or protractor for some reason. So let's take a look at our example problem 20. Quad ABCD satisfies right angles at ABC and ACD. AC is length 20, CD is length 30. The two diagonals intersect at point E such that AE is 5. What is the area of the quadrilateral? All right, so it looks like we know the dimensions of triangle ACD. So let's draw that first and choose a convenient scale of 2 fifths to fit on this paper. Now CD has length 30 times the scale of 2 fifths equals 12. So that's the scaled length of CD in centimeters. So let's go ahead and draw that first down here as our base. So that's point C, D, length 30. Now AC has length 20 times the scale of 2 fifths equals 8 centimeters. Draw that in perpendicular. That's point A. Let's draw the other side. All right, now we're going to form point E one quarter of the way down side AC. So it looks like we want to split AC into four equal parts. So let's just uh, mark off every two centimeters to do that. So that's going to be point E. These are all of length five, 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 and five. Great. Let's draw in our diagonal DE. And we want to put point B on diagonal DE such that there's a right angle at uh, B. So we can use our grid ruler to help do that. Right angle at B. Great. So we're trying to find the area of this quad. And it looks like we already know the area of ACD. That's just 30 times 20 times 1 half. So this area is 300. So it seems like the crux of the question is then to find the area of ABC to determine the area of the quadrilateral. Now ABC is a right triangle. It has the hypotenuse on this known triangle ACD. So it looks like it would be helpful to draw the circumscribed circle around triangle ABC. So let's use our safety compass to do that. Put the center there. Find the appropriate hole and spin that around. And the center is O. We'll call the intersection of our circle with the diagonal point F. And if we put two grid rulers together, pretty easy to see that uh, FC runs along a diagonal, 45 degree diagonal, and FO is perpendicular to line AC. So let's draw those in. So FO is perpendicular to AC. So that's essentially an altitude. The length we know is just the radius of 10. FC runs along a 45 degree line. So we know its length, 10 root 2 from Pythagoras. And we also know that Fe has length 5 root 5 from Pythagoras. And we also know that triangle FEC is similar to triangle AEB because they're formed by these two intersecting chords. And the length scale ratio is root 5. So the area scale factor is 5. So if we knew the area of FEC, which is pretty easy to calculate, we could divide by 5 to get the area of triangle ABC, and then multiply by 4 to get the area of triangle ABC. So that seems to be one of the mathematical approaches to determining the area of triangle ABC. But uh, since we have this nice scale drawing, let's see if we can just go ahead and measure the area of triangle ABC. So the area of ABC comes down to determining the altitude from B to side AC, let's call that H, 
And let's just go ahead and measure that altitude. And we see that that altitude measures very close to 2.4 centimeters, multiplying by the inverse scale factor of 5 halves, takes us back up to the original units of the drawing. 1.2 times 5, 6. So h is equal to 6. And the area of triangle ABC then, pretty easy to calculate. Base of 20, altitude of 6, 60. So the area of the quad is just the sum of these two areas. 360 for choice D. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, and uh, good luck on the upcoming AMC. Bye-bye.